Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Sandy Bites Smash. Well, I'm with you guys with a new video, and the Apple iPad Pen Gate is going wider. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the Apple Pen Gate, and this is going really, really viral. So the first thing uh, which I want to discuss with you guys is the Pen Gate, uh, which was had with the iPhone 6, and according to the last that the Apple knew about the bandgate issues about the iPhone 6 before they launched it. So that was a great disappointment for the Apple fans, but they uh, didn't consider that because it was a great selling product for Apple. So the iPad Pro, which uh, cost from 799 US dollars to about 1900s, which is really a great price for the, especially for the iPad fan. So uh, anyone who is uh, paying such a premium for the devices uh, should expect a great uh, quality product. But uh, according to the uh, video of a uh, great YouTuber, uh, generic everything, it has been clarified that that is not a case for the iPad Pro. They are really sensitive, and uh, as he pen uh, the iPad Pro, as you can see the video, that it completely shattered. So there was not a, you can see, not anything which left on the uh, uh, there was not anything just left for the iPad Pro to be used. And the only thing which was left for the iPad battery. So that was a really disappointment for the especially for the Apple fans that it really went bad. And everything including screen was shattered. So the main uh, points which made this happen was the um, kinetic pad which are the Apple Pencil and that was really dumb. And the other thing was that many Apple fans was not uh, expecting this quality from the Apple as uh, according to the Apple this is one of the most premium devices they have ever made and according to them it should be work well. So many professionals which will be carrying this device uh, or maybe students which will be carrying this device around them uh, would not expect this experience for uh, these devices. Uh, many people will say that uh, they have to bring the thinness too low that it, you could have compromised the uh, durability of the device, but that's not the case. Um, we don't know about any further cases, but uh, we, we can expect that, or uh, as it was happened with the iPhone 6, that if we can later find out that it was the case that Apple knew that it was uh, their pre manufacturing effect. So guys, I hope you will like this video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe.